Before we get into this episode of BattleBots Reborn, there's something that needs to be talked about. This episode was recorded, narrated, edited, and finalized a couple weeks before what happened in Paris. Obviously, not having known what was going to happen in the future, there were a couple jokes in this video that, after what happened, may now be seen as a bit offensive and may anger some people. After talking with the other member of this channel, we decided to delay the post of this episode just a little bit, but I did not want to cut out the two scenes, and I did not want to delay the post of this because there are two bots in this episode that were viewer requested, and I want you to be able to see that. So this episode was just delayed in the uploading a little bit to give a little bit more time for everyone to heal after what happened. Please understand that the two moments that may be considered offensive after what happened, they're just jokes, they're just there for good banter, I'm not trying to offend anybody. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to Robot Wars Reborn. No, no, what do you think you're doing? This is BattleBots, this is American. Get your English crap out of here with your tea and your, and your queen and your football. Go, get out. First up in our episode of BattleBots Reborn is the spastic heavyweight hammer bot that is Frenzy. Frenzy's 8-8 eight eight overall BattleBots record dates all the way back to Long Beach 99 when he was making Nightmare look good. He's probably best known for having a front row seat for when the Matador flipped himself a hundred feet into the air. When the fights got tough, Frenzy's special move was to swing his hammer back and forth like he was having a seizure. And no, it didn't work. Before we begin, I need to knock out two disclaimers. Number one, I know that there was a better weapon I could have used in this game for Frenzy's weapon. The thing is, it's too heavy, and it would not work. Secondly, I know Frenzy's hammer also sits behind it perfectly and not in the air like this one does. When it comes to the motors you need to use for flipbots or hammerbots, you cannot go 180 degrees. So for the person that commented to do the judge, I probably won't be able to. And for the person that commented Toe Crusher for later in this episode, you're gonna see the same exact thing. I'm sorry. Three, two, one, Hang on a second. This hammer's actually doing some damage. There might be hope for this robot yet. Oh my god, we won! I don't believe it! Aw, oh, fuck. Never mind. Timber! What can I say? I like to hit it from the back. Aw, oh, no, you fucked up. You fucked up. You're going in that pit. You fucked up. You fucked up! Alright, hammer versus hammer. This is gonna be, well, shit. You're off to see the bottom, the bottom of the fucking pit. And now for the easiest win of Fake Frenzy's career, because Big Dog got stuck on the ramp. I love this game. I'm sorry, what the hell just happened? Frenzy does as much pounding as Johnny Sins. Don't pretend like you don't know who that is. You know exactly who that is, you sick fuck. Alright, show me what you're made of, Hanky Panky. Oh. That's it? Even I don't finish that fast. Wait, what? Well, this is not really the start I was hoping for. Oh, I can't even get around to the side of him, let alone the back. That's it. It's time for a suicide mission. I gotta go right at him. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! It worked! So how did the Frenzy recreation fare? Well, it fared well. Which is a problem. The appearance was the best thing about this robot, and it would have been better if it wasn't for the actual weapon I used, other than that, the robot did too well compared to what the actual Frenzy did. It won more fights than it lost, which is normally a good thing, except Frenzy was 500. The recreation weapon did way more damage than the real weapon could ever do. So for that and many other reasons, we're gonna give it a D. Next up, the lightweight spawn of Overkill, that is Toe Crusher. Toe Crusher's 9 and 6 record in BattleBots would have looked a little bit better if he gotten deserved wins against Backlash in Season 2 and Low Blow in Season 4, but he was constantly getting molested by the BattleBox hazards, so that didn't happen. <laughs> now, as I mentioned when talking about Frenzy, the range of one of these motors for flipping and for HammerBots cannot go to 180 degrees, so Toe Crusher's arm spike thingy has to start where it does so that it can get all the way to the ground in front of the wedge. The other major problem with this robot is because of weight distribution, every time I drive forward, the front wedge pops up. And when I try to use a spike, this happens. So basically, I'm never gonna hit anyone ever. When you're in a four bot a fight tournament and you have this much unfixable damage going into the next round, you're basically screwed, and you're gonna get dismembered quicker than you would in an ISIS video. Well, what do you know? Now I'm the idiot driving off the edge. This world ain't big enough for the two of us hammer bots. 
Draw! Since this stupid wedge doesn't work, I basically have to let the robot attack me, drive up the wedge, and then basically have a firestorm flipper and flip him over. Oi, pussyhole, what did I tell you last time? That's right, fuck you. Um... I've clearly already won this fight, but I'm gonna keep hitting you until- Oh. Sorry. Berserker. You were on trial for murdering other robots. How do you plead? I swear I didn't do it! Don't hurt me! Jury says... Fuck off! Still lasted longer than a Chicago Bears season. When in doubt, there's always the great backup plan of pinning them against the wall until the count goes to one, then drive away, and you win! Round and around and around and around. You know what? I could have easily done you spin me right round again, but I wanted to change it up for you guys and stop annoying you with the same thing, so you better be grateful. So how did the Toe Crusher recreation fare? I'd say average. The appearance was top-notch, and the win-loss ratio accuracy wasn't too bad. Other than that, this was another case of a robot's weapon being better than the actual robot. So unfortunately, he won't get any higher than a C for this one. But still, good work. Hey, you. Do you have a favorite BattleBot that you would like to be part of this series? Leave a comment on the BattleBot's name below. Alright, they're getting counted out. Looks like we won another fight. This bot is... Hey, what the fuck? <laughs>